everybody loves baby animals, so they get very excited about it when they're small and adorable. So it's a lot easier to get talking to people about a different species. My name is Rose Johnson. And I'm the swing zookeeper at Miller Park Zoo. This is Bonnie. She's one of our um, baby goats that we had born at the zoo. They're a really a cool species of goat. It's called a San Clemente goat. They are an endangered species. So we have our weekly vet checks with our vet staff um, from University of Illinois. And then our keepers are all up to date on the research from that animal. So whether it be from our SSP program or our um, animal welfare program, we're able to make sure that they're staying at a good weight and a good um, health or getting the amount of food that they need every day in. So our guests always love when we get to announce babies. Uh, baby goats, baby tamanduas, or the lesser ant ears. Uh, always a big hit around the zoo, uh, seeing the baby wallabies. And you always see that spike right after we make those announcements and our guests who come for that week. Hi, I'm Jay Tetzloff. I'm the Miller Park Zoo Director. You know, being a member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, or AZA, is very important to us. It basically is the high mark for excellence for zoos across all of North America. And being AZA accredited means we're providing the best veterinary care and animal care for our animals here at the zoo. That's a high focus of what we do at the zoo. One of the key components for, for what we try to provide here is optimal quality of health and care for every single species. I'm Dr. Matt Allender, zoo veterinarian from the University of Illinois. And while I feel like we, we offer quality of care better or as good as any place in the country, having radiographs on site will allow us to maintain and improve our, our diagnostic ability and thus we're, we're improving the animal care and, and welfare. When we do neonatal care or perinatal care of pregnant females, we can use a lot of different modalities. Sometimes we use blood tests, sometimes we use ultrasound, um, but for some species, radiographs are the best indicator um, and help us the most with identifying the number of animals that are in there so that we can best prepare for when they're coming. Getting radiographs can be technically challenging in certain species. So in, in some species, it requires anesthesia. Some animals will be trained and the keepers um, here have been working really hard with some of the species such as the alligators. We could do those radiographs with those animals completely awake and just target train. Providing the best opportunity for improved health is the most important thing for zoo animals. And currently, uh, the standard of care includes radiographs, which we use with off-site facilities now, but that often increases the anesthesia time or transport time, and thus can increase the stress. By having it on site, we reduce stress, improve animal care, and improve the entire animal experience. This spring, something exciting happened. We had Palace Cat Kittens born, five of them. So we have 54 breeding programs here at the zoo. We're the only zoo in all of North America with Palace Cat Kittens born. We have five, and that's from importing a, a male from the Czech Republic to add new bloodlines to the North American pipeline. So it's really important for those kids to be around and to uh, push those genetics throughout North America. One day we came in and we had one favoring a leg. So we jumped in action, took it for x-rays, saw a leg was broken, had surgery, and now you can't even tell which kitten had the surgery. You know, really what the zoo's all about is making sure we're taking care of our animals here at the zoo. That's first and foremost in our mind, always what, how does that affect that animal, how does that affect that individual, that's always the top of our mind. So I've been at the zoo now 10 years, and it was, x-ray is one piece of the puzzle we haven't had in the past, and we know it's, it's a crucial piece for really elevating what we do for our animals.